Now that I've demonstrated how this machine performs when running IOQuake 3, let's see how the Octane 2 fitted with dual 600 MHz CPUs performs when it comes to running a blender test. And for this test I'm going to open up the same file being test.blend that I've run on all the other machines. So I'm quickly going to open up the file. Okay, in order to render this image as quickly as I can, I'm just quickly going to set it up. Okay, I'm going to render in 8 parts by 8 parts. And I'm going to render with 4 threads because there are 2 CPUs in the machine and each CPU can handle 2 threads. So let's hit F12 and see how it renders. Okay, I'm going to let it run at normal speed for a little bit of time and then I'll speed the video up to save some time. And we're almost done. Okay, and the Octane 2 rendered this image in 3 minutes and 36 seconds. This is pretty good performance if you consider that the Octane 2 fitted with 4 of 14 ks running at 500 MHz rendered the same scene in 2 minutes and 13 seconds and the Tezro fitted with 4 R 16 ks running at 1 GHz rendered the scene in 1 minute and 7 seconds. And if I take a look at the O2's performance, it rendered the same scene in 11 minutes and 34 seconds. So from this you can see that the Octane 2 fitted with two 600 MHz R 14 ks is a pretty decent machine. This concludes my demonstration of Blender on this machine. Thanks for watching.